Hey guys, Ritzy here. Um, <laughs> long time no manga video, huh? Well, um, I have a bunch of stuff to share with you guys today. And there's a lot. I have it all spread out here before me. Like over here and over here on the table. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna do a, a huge manga haul today um, of stuff that's been sitting in the office and in a box for over a year now. I really didn't want to have to use my Chromebook for this, but it's really the only thing I have to make videos on because I don't like my point and shoot and I don't like using my phone, so this is the best thing I have. Okay, so, um,. I have manga that I've gotten from, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different places. <laughs> uh, some from online, some from friends, some from Goodwill, some from uh, my anime club where I won a prize and I got some manga from that, um, and some from my local uh, coffee shop and bookstore. So I'm just going to go and start in with what I got from my local Walmart. And that is Volume 2 of Demon Slayer. Um, I picked this up because it was, it was there, you know, Demon Slayer. And I've seen the, mo I've seen the anime, um, I've seen Mugen Train, but I really want to start collecting the manga. Um, I don't. I rarely have the money to get box sets of anything, so I'm looking out for singles. So I found volume 2 and I was like, why not get it? Um, I'll probably read it when I get like the first four or so. See how it is, you know, because I really, I really enjoyed the anime. Um, and I cried like a baby at uh, M Mugen Train. Um, and speaking of Demon Slayer, I actually have... Um, a video that I wanted wanted to do in 2020 when I saw Demon Slayer I watched it the night before we were going to see Mugen Train and then we saw M M Mugen Train um, so if you guys want to see that video I made um, or I at least I've, I've made the script for it I still have to film it obviously um, but if you guys want to hear my thoughts on Demon Slayer and like the movie as a whole, maybe like this video if you want to see that or comment if you want to see that video and I'll get to making that pretty soon. But yeah, th this is really nice. Um, I love the style of the manga. It's really simple. Um... Yeah, I, I haven't really read a good Shonen Jump title in a while because I'm still working through Bleach. That was like years ago that I, I stopped reading Bleach for a while. Um, and then, speaking of Bleach, by the same creator, this is his first manga before Bleach. Um, but these are what I got at my anime club when I won a prize out of the prize box and they had some manga some like plushies you know stuff like that and I found these volumes 2 3 and 4 of zombie powder um this is Tate Kubo's first manga before uh bleach so I picked these up I still think it's the first volume but it's pretty cool to have these. Um, I didn't even know that Taikubo did a manga before he did Bleach. But you can definitely tell in the character designs that it's his work. It looks pretty cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is a short f four volume series anyway. Because it's like a, his start in manga. So I just have to get volume one and I'll have it all and I'll probably read it. Um, when I get the, for the first volume. And um, next are some things I found at Goodwill. 
um, cause I go there so often and, um, I look for manga if, th if there is any. And, uh, somebody had given some, uh, shoujo titles to Goodwill. And I, I don't really read a lot of shoujo manga, um, but I found, uh, the first two volumes of, uh, Full Moon. Oh, Sagashite. Um, it looks really cute. Um, I'll probably read it and then I might gift it to a friend. I'm, I'm not that into shoujo manga. Um, I did read a lot of uh, shoujo B back in the day, which was enjoyable. And I do like um, Vampire Night. That's my favorite one. Um, and then I found volume one of Captive Hearts, another shoujo B manga. Um, I might try to look for more of this. It looks more up my alley, um, as, as, uh, shoujo manga are, and is by, um, Matsuri Hino, <laughs> funny enough, the creator of Vampire Night. So, I might, I'm really gonna check this one out because I love Vampire Night. I love it. I still have to finish collecting that series and, um, uh, um, I, I also need to get, um, um, the rest of the spin-off manga that they did. I have three of it, I think, so far. Um, yeah, so there are those. And, um, these next two I got from some friends. Um, and again, this one is another, another one that, um, one of my friends found it, uh, Good Goodwill, and it's the first volume of, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, and it was really neat, cause, uh, my friend Violet came by, she wanted to hang out, and she, she knocked on my door, I opened it, she's like, here, I got this for you, and just, like, handed me this manga, and I'm like, awesome! I haven't read Full Metal Alchemist in years! Um, I read it all in high school because I went to a technical college for my last two years of high school and the, the school library had all the volumes and funny enough I was a library assistant back then so I would often sit in the library when I was done uh, cleaning out the paper trays and fixing the computer chairs and stuff like that and clean, cleaning up in the back room and I would just sit there and read um, this manga and it's really good for what it is um i've seen both animes and all the movies I, I i really enjoy it um although i like brotherhood over of three but i mean they both have their charms and then this next one um <laughs> i happened to get this for christmas um last year because some friends of mine had a christmas party we decided to do a white elephant gift and funny funny funnily enough I can't talk um my friend got my gift and I got his gift which was the first volume of Bakano um now I've seen a smidgen of this anime before but it's set in the 1920s and that's like a really cool era so I'm definitely gonna read this it's pretty thick for like a manga, you know, it's like pretty thick. It's like two, two, two fingers thick, which is pretty good for a manga, um, back then when this was made. Um, but yeah, it, it looks really cool. Um, like I said, I've seen a little bit of this anime. Um. My cat. My cat is getting in the box that I had Monka in. <laughs> Hi Kiki! 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 Hi! Hi baby! You're in the box? <laughs> Cats do love boxes. She's so cute. <laughs> Alright, so um... 
Okay, so, uh, back to talking about Bakano. Um, like I said, I've seen a little bit of the anime. It looks really cool. Um, so it's something I'll definitely watch and try to read more if I can find more of the volumes. Um, this next stack is stuff I got in the way of comics from my local comic manga shop slash bookstore and coffee shop and the first one is uh Shaun of the Dead the comic um um and it's got um participation of the movie's creators it just I this is one of my favorite zombie movies ever. It's so funny. Um, yeah, I, I can't really say more about this. Like, I love how the cover looks. Um, this looks really pretty. And then you go to the back. The hand is actually embossed to, like, kind of stand out to look like a bloody handprint. It's really cool. Um... And then I found a copy of Old Man Logan, and if 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 anyone knows me, I love Wolverine or Logan in this case. Um, he's my favorite X Men character, and yeah, so I decided to pick this up, give it a read, probably keep keep it because it's Logan. And I want to try to get the other comics of this series. Yeah, but like I saw it and I was like, oh my god, Logan! Because I just, I, I, I love him so much. He's he's my favorite X-Men ever. Like, I, I don't really like a lot of X-Men. I like Cyclops and I like Wolverine. That's about it. And these next two... Um, are like graphic novels, comics kind of thing that I found on my campus, and I'm kind of borrowing them. I mean, I'm I'm gonna put them back on the shelf over there when I finish reading them. But they are V for Vendetta and Watchmen. Um, and I have never seen Watchmen before. I've heard about it. I know it's really good. And I'm going to read this. Um, and the same writer did both of these, which is really cool. And speaking of this one, I have the movie. I've never seen it. My mom and stepfather are big fans of this movie. Um, so I kind of know about the whole thing with the guy with the mask. Um, so, who knows, I might watch the movie before I read this, or read this, then, then watch the movie, who knows. But, um, these are pretty nice and thick for graphic novels. Um, they're pretty hefty. Really nice. Okay, then the next stack I have, because there are like stacks, there are like three stacks left. Um, the next stack is, again, more stuff I got from uh, my local coffee shop slash bookstore called Grounds for Thoughts. And the first four manga I have here are the first four volumes of Gundam Seed Destiny. Now, if if you guys know anything about me, I like Gundam series, and my partner and I recently watched Gundam Seed, and we didn't like it. We didn't like it at all. Um, I know it really pushed a lot of his buttons, um, but I decided to get these to try it, and who knows, I might keep it. I might give it away to someone who likes Gundam. I have, I have friends up north who like Gundam, um, and I might, um, I might watch this anime too, if I get the chance, if, 
if I feel like it, that is. Um, and then the next manga that I found over there is, I guess, one that's, like, really pricey, like, expensive in the way of manga, I guess. I've seen a bunch of people saying, like, it's the most expensive manga in their collection. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's by Dark Horse. Um, I don't know. But it's, uh, e Eden, Volume 5. Um, I just happened to see it, and it's really pretty. Um, the artwork is nice, so I picked this up. Um, obviously it's Volume 5, so I can't really read it in context unless I have the other four. So I'm gonna try to find those and read those. Um, and, um, I found, uh, Berserk Volume 23. Um, now I still have to finish reading Berserk. Um, I'm reading it online because I don't have all, all the physical volumes and I'm on, I think I'm on volume 15 where I'm at. So this is like really far away from where I'm at reading now. So I might read this once I get to that point online. Then, uh, volume two of Plus Anima, um, I read this when I was a teenager, I really enjoyed it, it's a nice, um, like, slow Tokyo Pop manga, um, the characters are nice, I really like, uh, Senri the bear, you can see right here, that's Senri, this is Husky, and on the back is Kuro. And they all have like animal um, features and stuff. It's really cool. I I enjoy the series a lot. I want to get the rest of it and read it all. Then um, volume five of Samurai Deeper Kyo. Um, this manga is another one that I really like because it's got samurai. It's got fighting. It's got um, like just like demons and gods and stuff like that and um i have seen the anime i love that dan green voices kill and cute cute kill like it, he, he's he's perfect for the roles of them um but uh yeah this is a manga that i want to have uh collected um i have read it all and i've seen all them all the anime so now i'm just looking to collect this um Next is uh, volume one of uh, Angel Sanctuary. Um, this is a Viz Shoujo. This is one of the few shoujos I can actually read and that I really enjoy. Um, I read this all back in the day when I was like 12. <laughs> and I've seen the anime of this. It's really good considering when it, when it was made. Um, but, um, I do have a couple other volumes of this. I'll probably show once I do my manga, um, collection video finally, which that should be coming either next month or in, um, April. I don't, I don't know when I'm going to film that. Just whenever I have time. Um, and then, uh, volume one of Gintama, um... I've heard so much about this anime. I know it's like a parody anime and it does a really good job of parodying it. Every anime that it has in store. Um, I have not watched it or read it yet. That's why I got volume one and it was the only one I saw there too. But I don't know. I mean, I am watching uh, Bo 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 with my partner right now and that's a comedy parody anime so who knows, I might, I might like Gintama as well. Um, and then I found volume one of Kogyash Lelouch of the Rebellion. Um, I've watched season one of this on Netflix. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I need to work up to watching the second season. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I didn't, I didn't even know this was a manga. I just thought it was an anime. Um, 
but I just, I really like this series. Um, a, a lot of the side characters stand out to me. I don't much care for C2 or Lelouch or Suzaku. I mean, kind of Suzaku, kind of Lelouch, but only Lelouch when he's zero. That's the only time I like him. Um, and then this last one in the stack is volume one of Hikaru no Go. Now, this is, a series, this is another series that's near and dear to my heart. I've read it all. I watched the anime like two years ago. And I wanted to do a video on it after seeing another YouTuber do an explanation video on this series. So, I have the script for that all written out. I just have to sit down and film it. And it's just, it, it's a wonderful coming of age series and it's got a really interesting, intricate game called Go in it. And it's actually a pretty fun game. There's some websites where you can go and sign up and actually play Go online with other people. It's really cool. Um, but yeah. So that's that stack. Which is a lot. Oh, oh it's gonna hop over. Okay, then the next stack here are things that I got from Right Stuff a while back. Starting with volume 9 of Card Fate Vanguard. It's still in the plastic wrap because I don't want to open it yet. But it does have a card inside, which is cool. I always like that in the first printing of these. Um, this series is now complete for me. This was the only volume I needed. So once I put this on my shelf, I'm going to sit down and read all of it in its entirety and probably do a full review of it on YouTube if, if you guys want to see that. I don't know. Um, but this is a series that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, <laughs> this character, especially Naoki Ishida, he just, he's my boy. I love him so much. Um, the next manga I have is volume 16 of Beat X. Um, this is a series by the creator of Saint Seiya, Masami Kurumada. Um, and I got introduced to this series as the anime by a friend of mine named Ben. Um, he really likes this series and actually cosplays the main character, Tepe. Um, so shout out to Ben for letting me know about this series because I watched the first season. Really enjoyed it. It's an older anime from the 90s. Just, it's so good. Like, I just, I, 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 lo I love it to pieces. Um, but yeah, so I plan to hopefully get more of this manga. And I know it's like really hard to get right now, really out of print. People are selling them for like ridiculous amounts of money on like eBay. But I'm gonna try to get all this. I, I can't remember if it's really long or really short because this is volume 16. I think there might be like 32 volumes in this. I don't know. I'll have to look it up later. And then the next few volumes are a series I've been collecting. Um, D Deanna Angel. Volumes um, 10, 11, and 12. Um... This is a series that I watched when I was younger. I really like it. Um, and I read the manga from a friend and decided to collect it myself when I saw that um, uh, Grounds for Thought had like the first nine volumes, like one through nine. So I scooped those up and I found these on Right Stuff. So I still have a little ways to go to finish this series, but it's really good. I like it. And then we have the biggest group of manga I have gotten from right stuff so far. Um, uh, Chronicles of the Cursed Sword, volumes 9 through 11, 
13 and 14 and 19 and 20. So this is a severely old Tokyopop series. Um, it's one of my favorites. I like the art style. Um, I like the covers. The covers are just really nice to look at. Um, so these came from Right Stuff and they were like really cheap, like super cheap. Like I think two bucks a volume, one dollar, I, I forget how much they were exactly, but they were super cheap. Um, and they do have some yellowing on them a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So they got a little bit of sun damage, but it's okay. Um, again, I really like this series. Um, I already have one through eight in the office so these are going to go on that shelf and then I just got to get the numbers in between here to finish the series and I don't think this is a big series either I think it's maybe 24 or 26 volumes but once I get all of it I will read it in its entirety and probably do another review because I can I, I want to start doing more manga reviews on my channel um, and then this last stack um, is manga from the $1 blind bags I got from Right Stuff. And I've seen people doing videos on these a lot, so I decided to get um, eight, eight, $8 worth of blind bags um, of manga. So we have um, Volume 2 of Lament of the Lamb. Um, it looks really pretty. It's by Tokyo Pop. Um, we have volume two of Ion from the same creator as Chibi Vampire. We have volume three of Princess Eye. Which is really cool. I've never read that in that manga. Um, we have volume six of Lagoon Engine. This looks like Korean, but it's from Tokyo Pop. Um, we have volume two of Momogumi plus Senki. This is an interesting looking anime or manga. I don't, I don't know if it has anime or not. Probably does. Um, then we have uh, a dot hack light novel, um, dot hack, uh, GU volume two. Um, I have a bunch of friends who are into the dot hack series. Um, specifically this game, I know I have a friend who likes it a lot. Um, and we have volume, volume seven of Chibi Vampire, the novel. Um, again, this stuff isn't really my thing, but I just want to see what I would get in the blind boxes. And then the last one is uh, volume 7 of Bizing, Bizing Guest, if I'm saying that correctly. Like, this is a really pretty series. Um, it's fantasy. It's got pretty nice art. Um, I remember hearing about it when I was younger. I never actually read it, but I don't know. So I might do a giveaway or something with the blind box manga that I don't want because there is a fair amount that I don't want. Um, yeah, like I'll probably do a giveaway of like maybe three of the volumes I got for someone once I reach a certain amount of subs or something I guess because I have a long way to go. I actually lost like three subs in the past couple months and I don't know why but mm, it isn't what it is. Um, so that was my very overdue manga haul from 2021. Um, if you guys liked anything, leave a comment below, tell me what your favorite series was from this haul, what you think I should read first, uh, what do you think I should try to get more of first, um, and just share anything you want to in the comments, I guess. 
um, yeah, uh, again, I'm so sorry for, like, not posting a manga video in forever, but I've been really busy, and the weather has been really crappy, and it's been cold here, um, but, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye!